Hi everyone, it's time for um, an empties video. <clears throat> uh, ah, I need to stop with the time for. I don't like it. I don't want to hear it any any anymore. Sick and tired of it when I'm editing it. So, um, yeah. Hi, today I have my empties video for the month of June for you. I have quite a few empties as you can see right here. So I want to um, quickly go through them and talk about them a bit in depth because I think there are quite some nice products in here and um, yeah, I just want to talk about them. So let's get started. I know it is a bit late, but um, I didn't get around to film until like this weekend. So. Um, for starters, I have this guy here. This is the Alberti Ultra Sensitive Body Lotion. This comes with a pump dispenser, which I do like um, for convenience sake, but I don't like it because usually there's um, some product stuck at the bottom and you can't get it out. Um, the only option for me would be to twist this open to remove the pump dispenser and um, set this upside down and then I would have the product on my um, bathroom counters which I'm not a fan of. So I'm not doing that, I'm considering this one done. Although I think I could probably like um, moisturize a leg still with what's left in here. Then I used up an sh another shower gel. This is the Lavera um, shower gel with almond milk and honey. This is quite nice. This is a very big tube, honestly. So if you look at it next to my hand, one of the bigger ones that I have. I do like this quite a lot. The scent is very, very, very nice. It is um, soothing and the product itself is really nice as well because I think it does hydrate um, my skin quite a bit. Although I don't need too much hydration. So if you have very dry skin, I am not really one you want to go for info on shower gels and body lotions. But this is very nice. What I do like about this is that it is cruelty free and um, yeah I did enjoy this I am not sure I would repurchase it especially right now because I have three um, shower gels left so um, there's that I used up another one of my Danto Dent um, toothpastes um, these um, this is the brilliant white version so um, it's supposed to whiten my teeth a bit I do think it does a little bit especially considering I drink a lot of tea every day so um, this is once again empty, it's cruelty free and vegan, which is what I like about it a lot. But I also like the price point, so this is under a euro. Then I have uh, more skin here, I have my Alberti um, face, face tonic with clay. Absolutely love this, um, can't say enough good things about it, with one exception, it contains alcohol and I don't like that too much. But it is the one face tonic that I have and that I've tried so far that does not um, make me break out. So all the others um, actually either um, make me break out because there's some ingredient in there that I don't, my skin does not take well, or, and that's even worse, it does not do anything at all for my skin, and um, so um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with this for the time being. From the same line, I also have the face fluid. This is just a moisturizer, which I have used um, every, um, every evening and um, in the past month and um, the re uh, or the past two months actually the reason for this is uh, another face moisturizer that I've been working on so I've used this one um, only once a day I do like this a lot however because this does a nice job with my skin coming to this guy here this is the anatomicals the hottie toddy is never spotty pores and forest shine free moisturizer this is quite a mouthful I had this one in my project used up but as far as I know, it is cruelty free, so um, I would possibly repurchase this as if, if I could get a hold of it. I have not found this again. This was in one of those subscription boxes way back when, like before my son was born. So, 2012-2013, um, somewhere around that. It did make my face a little bit more mad. I do like that and um, I did appreciate that for a change, this actually did um, almost everything it said it um, does. But um, yeah, with this one, um, I used this in the morning before applying my makeup and then this was my evening product. So um, it took me longer to use them both up. This comes in 50 milliliters, which is quite nice. And um, I think this is either half the normal size or this is full size. I have to check this one out again. I did like it a lot. Um, it lasted me approximately three months to, until it was done. And for the price tag, it is quite nice. 
Then um, I have another one of the Alberti Clay Line um, thingies. This is the wash cream. I've used this one up completely as well. And um, for the record, if I'm not mistaken, all these three products from the Clay Line are actually not only cruelty free but also vegan. These say it on the back, and um, if I'm not mistaken, this says vegan on the um, the box that comes in. So um, this is also done. I am already using the backup of this guy. I do like it a lot because it works nice with my skin. This, as far as I remember, does not. You no, know, it does contain alcohol. This one doesn't. So this also contains alcohol, which I'm not too much of a fan of, but it does what it's supposed to do. It does not make me break out. So for the time being, I am probably going to stick with it. Then um, more skincare products, another one from that same line. This is the SOS Anti-Sit um, Serum. I'm I'm so so about this one simply because it does leave a like brownish um, area around um, where you apply this unless you really pat this in and you don't lose a lot. But I feel like if you don't use a lot of product then this one um, does not do as much as I would like for it to do. So this is um, a bit so-so. Right now I'm using another one because I had this one and the other product open for so long I needed to work on them a bit more. So um, I did like this however and um, maybe, maybe I'll repurchase this. So um, yeah, this one is also done. This is an entire Alberti clay line family here. Then I have my uh, deodorant here. This is the last deodorant I have in this container. My upcoming deodorants will all be cream deodorants. This is cruelty free and vegan and this is the Alverdi Dio roll on with mint and bergamot. I do like the scent quite a bit, it is um, very fresh. Um, it has that more bergamotty scent, if you know um, what Earl Grey tea smells like, that's it. I like the scent so I did not mind, about, um, mind it at all and um, I think it does a good job. This is actually, um, it does not contain any alcohol or... Um, or um, aluminum and the likes, so um, yeah, this is quite nice, but uh, like I said, I have the cream deodorants that I like even better, so um, these will be my upcoming empties. Then I have my um, sunscreen. This is the Eucerin Sun Fluid um, SPF 50 Plus. Um, it is mattifying, and I do like this a lot. I've used this one up um, just in the past month. It took a while and um, it probably did not have SPF 50 anymore because I think I was like two or three weeks over when I finished this one up finally um, over the 12 year mark, um, 12 month mark when you should um, change out your um, sunscreen but I wanted to finish this one up because this does mattify. However, it's not cruelty free so um, I'm not going to repurchase this but if you um, ignore the cruelty free part and you want a um, sunscreen that is um, high it has a high sunscreen and um, if you want something that is mattifying and almost works like a primer then this would be a nice product. I have not found a cruelty free version that um, does a good job just as well. Then I finally used up the first of my um, Revolta Loop Clean and Care all containing eye makeup remover. I love these a lot. These are pretty much my holy grail eye makeup removers because they do a very good job and they last quite a while. I probably will have another um, one done in July, but honestly, if I use one per month and if it does a good job and it's cruelty free and vegan, why not? I'm okay with it. Didn't pay too much for this. I think the original price is 145 or 135, give or take, uh, for 100 milliliters. And um, then I bought these in um, on sale when they were like 30 roughly 30% off, so I paid under a euro. Very nice. And then we come to um, a few, oh no wait, I have one more like skincare type product. Um, I have my Balea Tan Perfection Lash Serum. I've used this one up um, earlier this year already. This one is now gone too. I'm gonna repurchase this because I like what it does to my lashes, but I have not gotten around to it yet because I this is one of the products I don't expect to go to be done and then you, it is done and you don't have a backup which is what I don't like so I don't have this at the moment but I will repurchase it the next time I get to the end and um, yeah but now we only have like makeup and makeup related product, products left let's start with the pencils I have my trended up contour and glide lip liner this is in the shade 040, and let me see if I can get a lit. Vorsichtig! 
Oh, fish dish. Yeah, I don't think I can get any product out anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, maybe you can see this teeny tiny swatch here. I hope you can. So, this is a rosy shade and um, the cap actually comes pretty close to it. If you look at this, it's probably a bit... No, it is pretty close, really. So, um, this is a very nice product. I have 020 at home right now, which I'm definitely going to be continue using. But at the moment, I'm working on a on an essence lip liner that is um, a bit too cool toned for me so I want to use that one up first before I repurchase any but as this is cruelty free and vegan I will definitely be repurchasing it then I have my um, Lacura Bright Eyes Kajal and this one looks a bit ragged if you look at it let me there we go so not sure if you can see this there we go that's probably Probably better. So this unfortunately fell out and it fell on the floor and I don't want to use this anymore because it's going in my eye. Um, it was okay, but it didn't last all day. Be careful, please. So, um, yeah, I don't. I wouldn't repurchase it even if it were cruelty free and it's not cruelty free, so I'm not going to purchase it again. Then I have my um, P2 um, P2 um, Express Brow Pen in the shade something something blonde I keep forgetting it and um, P2 is one of those more iffy brands where um, since they have been sold not it's not clear really if they are so cruelty free or not so I'm probably not going to repurchase it then again I'm also um, I have two Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomades which I need to use up because I don't want them to dry out because they were more expensive than this guy so I'm not gonna purchase it anytime soon anyhow so uh, this is empty. I can't open it because when I um, do this, um, this happens and... Oh no, gosh, there we go. So I can't sharpen this anymore, so it's done. And um, yeah, I can't sharpen this anymore, so it is done and um, it was okay. It was maybe a bit too creamy when it was hot outside, but that is something you can probably just... Um, um, work with if you store it in your, free, um, in your fridge maybe. I used up a nail polish. This is nail polish number two for 2016 and I'm so happy about it. I just want to move out as many nail polishes this year as possible. Considering that um, six months in I have finished up two nail polishes, I don't see myself using up more than four nail polishes this year, if that. But um, this is gone. This is the Art Deco nail polish in number 12. This was a very nice um, orangey red. I did love this a lot. Um, our deco is not cruelty free though, so I'm not gonna repurchase this. Then I have my last non cruelty free mascara, and this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Lux mascara. I did like this quite a bit. The um, Lash Blast Lux version, just um, Lux means um, that it is actually, um, it has um, shimmer particles in the um, mascara product itself. That, um, yeah, I think you can see this a little bit. Um, it has, um, this one was for blue eyes and it had blue shimmer particles in it to enhance blue eyes. I do think it did that, however, it also means that it is not a dark black, so um, you have an either or going on here. Either you have a very dark black mascara or you have something that enhances blue eyes. You can't have both. Mm. I've used up, I think, four of these, so um, for me, this is a very nice mascara. It does not give you vavoom lashes. But the lashes look very natural, very nice. They are separated. They um, look like they are a bit fuller and longer. So for me, this is a very nice product, but it's not cruelty free. So I'm not going to repurchase this. It is also the last non cruelty free mascara that I had. So there's that. And then I have um, one eyeshadow that I've used up. My Alberti um, mono eyeshadow in warm vanilla is completely empty. This was just a light, light cream shade, which I liked a lot as a brow on highlight and to just blend out um, eyeshadows, maybe even to erase a little bit when I went um, overboard with darker eyeshadows. Very nice product. I would repurchase this, but right now I have two eyeshadows with a similar shade that in essence um, almost do the same thing. So I want to work on them first before I get this one again. And my last products are two cheap products. The first one is one you've seen already because this was in Project Used Up, among others. So this is my um, 
My Catrice Cream to Powder Eyeshadow in the shade Coral All A Lot from the limited edition called Siberian Call. This was um, in 2012, if I'm not mistaken. So a very old cream blush. And maybe, maybe you can see the color up here already. So this was a very nice corally orange shade, very bright, but you could smooth, um, you could, um, um, fade this out easily and it was a very nice shade to wear in general so I did like this a lot. I wish Catrice would come back with this formula because it was amazing and this being only limited edition was very upsetting. So that is empty and the last product I have is my MAC blush in style. This is also completely empty. This is my second to last non cruelty free blush. And um, it was a um, coral shade as well but this was um, almost um, half half pink and orange depending on the way you looked at it plus it had a golden sheen which was a bit annoying because it always meant that um, if you got if I got it too far in it would enhance the, um, the larger pores I have right here I didn't like that too much to be honest so um, not necessarily um, a formula and a um, blush I would repurchase even if it were cruelty free but it was okay for every now and then. So this is now done. And um, yes, this was it for my um, empties video for June. I already have produced some empties for July, so I need to move them out so I can store my empties for July in here again. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye!